Hi, welcome back to the channel on the college process. Once again, I'm Ed from Principia Prep, and today we're gonna to be going over the benefits of Instant Decision Day. But before we jump into that, if you are new to the channel and are looking for additional college content, please hit the description button down below. It will notify you when new videos do come out. As well as if you do enjoy today's video, please give us a like, it does help the channel. Once again, I wanna remind all the senior families out there for the 21-22 academic school year here, we still do have, once again, we're running the James Russo Memorial Scholarship, where we're trying to give away as much of the money that we make here from the YouTube channel away in scholarship funding so if you want more information about the James Russo Memorial Scholarship in the description down below is the link to the video for the James Russo Memorial Scholarship and other than that obviously if you guys have some questions or concerns about the process once again just ask away down in the comment section we do answer all the questions you guys leave down below in the comment section so whatever questions you have leave them down below and once again, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video, the benefits of Instant Decision Day. Now, just to start off with, let's explain to you guys what Instant Decision Days are. Many of your high schools that your students are attending right now have Instant Decision Days from these colleges and many other universities out there that do Instant Decision Days. What typically happens is a rep from the admissions office sets up a day with the guidance office and then goes there and does basically informal interviews with your students. Now, the way it usually works is instant decision days are almost guaranteed acceptances to these colleges because the way it happens is this. Your guidance office will set up a meeting with the colleges, like these colleges right here once again, and basically have the rep come in and most students will sit down with them between 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It's not that long of an interview process pretty much. Now, the interview itself is just kind of like a moniker. It doesn't actually mean an interview as far as trying to get you into the college. The interview is basically more of an information session where students can ask questions of the interviewer and the interviewer can basically handle any questions they have as well as ask questions of your students. Now the way it typically works is this, the guidance office will already set up these meetings knowing what the students transcripts recommendation basically academic profile is and how they basically align with that college. So very likely your students going to get accepted. So think of it Think of the instant decision days in a couple ways. Right at the bat, number one, it gives you the opportunity to get into a college automatically before you hear back from even the earliest schools from early action, early decision, first choice, and everything else. So instant decision days gives you a great way to kind of get a college on your list where you've been accepted to. Second thing to kind of consider about, about the instant decision days that also is very helpful, if you're considering doing an interview somewhere else, maybe a higher tier school, maybe your dream college, and you're a little bit nervous about doing an interview, very simple. Think of an instant decision day as a great way of doing a practice interview. Because once again, remember, you're guaranteed basically to get in. It's a great way to kind of feel at ease and be able to ask questions of an admissions officer and see what kind of questions they ask you. So that when you do the other interview, whether it be an alumni interview or whether it be an official admissions interview with that other college you're really interested in, you're gonna be a lot more at ease with yourself and in the interview process. And a third benefit of the instant decision days is it allows you to know if you're eligible for scholarship money at that college. What many reps will do during the instant decision decision day while you're doing the interview with them is they'll tell you if you're scholarship eligible already which gives you the opportunity to know as a student and then later on you can obviously tell your parents that yes if I attend this university they already guaranteed me X amount of scholarship money so obviously this is a big benefit knowing you have an acceptance knowing you got an interview out of the way you could do more interview as well as scholarship consideration is on the table these are all great things to have to do an instant decision day is it gives you a peace of mind knowing you're going to be going somewhere now the way they typically work is this now once again as I mentioned the guidance office sets up these instant decision days with the colleges that they have set up to allow them to come on campus and there are limited spots because remember they're doing an interview process between 9 a.m. and anywhere between 12 and 1 p.m. which means obviously they can't fit everyone in the high school for all these spots so you want to make sure if you have a college going to your high school that's doing an instant decision day you want to make sure that you lock in a spot early on you don't want to wait you don't want to wait till later on and find out spots have been taken out already now preparing for that instant decision day are a few things you need to do and there's four of them. And here are the four things you need to do to get ready for the instant decision day. Number one, you have to make sure to sign up with the guidance office early on so you save yourself a spot so that way you don't run out of spots. You don't want to ask them the day before or the day of for instant decision day if they have spots because they may not have any spots. So number two, you want to make sure that at least minimum five days before that interview happens, before that instant decision day happens, that you have completed the application and sent everything in to the admissions office of that college. Because if you don't send stuff in early enough, they will not be able to sit down with you for instant decision day because they have no information on you. To be able to say to you, here you go, you've been accepted to the college and you're done. Third thing you want to do when doing an instant decision day is dress appropriately. You want to dress basically as business casual. It doesn't have to be a tie, but it does have to be dressed up at least a little bit 
going in there with a sweater and jeans is not a great way to do this. I know for some of you, it might be a safety school and you might be using this as basically a starting point to kind of do an interview process. So if you want to do the whole process of basically doing a practice interview with these individuals, then obviously go dressed up the way you would be dressed up for your dream college situation. And the fourth thing you want to kind of figure out and get ready for is you don't want to be late for these interviews. Remember, these people are coming to your high school, giving their time and providing information to you. You want to be respectful of that. So that basically means you must show up at least five minutes, if not at least 10 minutes early to your interview slot for the instant decision day. Now let's say you're on the cusp, let's say you're on the border, and they're not able to accept you right off the bat during the instant decision day. They're basically telling you during that interview process what they want from you to get that acceptance from them. Typically, they're gonna say something like, we wanna see first quarter grades, or we wanna see first half grades of the senior year. Or in some cases, they're gonna say to you, we like your application, your SAT or ACT scores, if you took it again and got a little bit higher of a score, that could be helpful as well. During that instant decision day, it's almost impossible to get rejection. What they will do is, most of the time, accept you and provide you scholarship funding, or provide you a path to get into that college, something that's doable for you as the student. Now, all these things put together basically incorporate the instant decision day. If you are looking to do one, I think it's a great way to kind of release some of that stress knowing you're going somewhere. And other than that, obviously, if you guys have some questions or concerns about the process, once again, just ask away down in the comment section. We do answer all the questions you guys leave down below in the comment section. So whatever questions you have, leave them down below. And once again, I want to remind everybody of the James Russo Memorial Scholarship. This is being completely funded for this year's senior class 21-22 from the views as well as the likes and the comments you guys leave on these videos, which we definitely appreciate, which is helping grow the James Ruth Memorial Scholarship. And once again, if you want to be eligible, down below in the description is the video link to allow you to watch the video to give you insight about how to apply for it. As well as, once again, if you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave us a like, it does help the channel. And other than that, on the screen, you see our contact information. Once again, I'm Ed from Principia Prep. Thank you for watching today's video.